Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Evangelist Ambassador Adini Ikine. I am an ambassador for peace with the United Nations uh, via the Universal Peace Federation. I am an ambassador for Christ, Jesus Christ, because everyone is supposed to be an ambassador for Christ. And I am an evangelist. I preach to drama, theatrical spectacles, and I even do some sermon. But my mind is bleeding. My mind is bleeding at the moment. Yes, because of what is happening in the world. I'm telling you, my mind is bleeding because COVID-19 has now exposed a lot of fake pastors, a lot of fake psyches, a lot of fake imam, a lot of fake babalawos, a lot of fake habalists, and a lot of fake magicians. Just name them. COVID-19 is very, very real. Killing people. And when we watch TV, when I was growing up as a Christian, to become a Christian, to become an evangelist in my life, I've never performed a miracle to wake anybody, to die from death to life. But I believe that miracle works from the true pastors. And the only person that has done miracle in the whole universe without mixing anything without gimmick, without any abracadabra, is our Lord Jesus Christ. And everybody testifies to this. Now a lot of people are dying. Before COVID-19, you will watch on television that some people are waking up the dead. You will watch on television that some people are going to the hospital to heal the sick. Look at the United States of America at the moment, a lot of innocent souls have died despite the fact that they have been treated well. Why? Please, I am not judging pastors. Yeah, I was very, very in my tender age. Uh, not tender. I was a baby when I witnessed the miracle of my father in the Lord. Pastor Adeboye in Okadejari, the general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God. He has risen the dead. He has done a lot of miracles. The blinds have seen. The lame have walked. Not only him, a lot of people. We have Pastor Chris Oyakilome. We have T.B. Joshua. We have a lot of people. We have Oye Dekpo Pastor David Oye Dekpo and Pastor Abioye in Kaduna State where I grew up. I met him one on one. Now, does it mean that the miracle or the Jesus that we were serving that time is no longer alive? Or the miracle we were seeing that time is different from the miracle of this time? Why can't these people? Go to the isolation centers and say, I want to pray for you and heal you. Now, this is my message to you. They must have been doing it before and it's working. I believe God exists, the God of the past. Like a Yoruba song that I want to encourage you with is, Olorumbe bi tatijo. God exists like in the days of the old, but we are the ones that are not serving God like the days of the old. So definitely, there's so many things happening here. God exists. Miracle exists. Those men of God exist. Originally, I am from the cherubim and seraphim background. 
And I believe in all miracles that our Father in the Lord of blessed memory, Moses Ori Molade, has done. Oshofa has done a lot of miracles. Pastor Adeboye has done a lot of miracles. But why are those miracles not working at the moment? This is a food for thought for everybody. And now I want to leave you with this. Now don't trust anybody with any miracle. Now you have to read your Bible. I used to say this. Read your Bible. Forget about what anybody is telling you. Shebraka, bakada, bakada. No, I've been a Christian for almost three decades now. I got baptized three times. In the Anglican, in the redeemed, and when I came to Australia, I got baptized in the Baptist church. And I've dedicated, rededicated my life to Christ several times. And I have come to understand that you don't have to trust any man. Trust not on your pastor. Trust on, not on your father. Trust not on anybody. Trust not on any general overseer, uh, mommy overseer. Just trust in God. God is the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. Read your Bible. Give your life to Christ. And make sure you follow the law of the country. Whatever the authority tells you to say, to do, whatever the authority say, do not go out. Isolate. Use a mask. Use anything. Because even Jesus Christ himself says, give what belongs to Caesar to Caesar. Give what belongs to God to God. That means you have to pay tight. And you have to obey the law of the land where you are. You see? Yes, in the Bible there is faith. But when you have faith without work, faith does not say when you are sick, you don't look after yourself, just sleep and say, oh, I have faith. faith there is no place in the Bible where you will see that they say, don't go to the doctor, don't go to the hospital. All the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ are professionals from different backgrounds. We have tax collector, we have... Just start, read the Bible. I don't want to exaggerate. But I want to tell you now, those of you saying, I believe in my pastor, I believe in... Stop believing in your pastor. Stop allowing people to lay hands on you anyhow. People can pray with you and you yourself, you have the authority because God has given you the authority to pray. Come on! Stop all this rubbish. If truly all these pastors collecting your tithe and offering are real, now they should go to isolation centers and heal the people that are dying of COVID-19. I'm saying this again. My name is Adeni Ekine. All these fake pastors, come on. I'm, 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 I'm really... When I was in school, they called me radical for Jesus. I'm radical for Jesus. Those pastors preaching prosperity to rip you off, even at this time of COVID-19, instead of them to be providing for you from everything they've received from you, they are not doing that. Look at me very well. I have my own challenges. I'm going through PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder at the moment but i still have faith in god and i believe in the government i've gone out to shop today and in victoria state it's been mandated that if you don't put on a mask you'll be fined 200 dollars. it's not because of the money we have a lot of millionaires but everybody begin to abide so now stop being brainwashed me, I am an activist and for human rights, and human rights involves Christendom. I'm radical for Jesus. That means I want to tell you, stop being brainwashed by those your pastors that say they can do miracle behind the scenes. They can heal you, give you baby, or do everything. Now it's time for miracle. The whole pastor, I challenge the whole pastor. 
Now my name is Ambassador Adeni Yekine. Those of you pastors that have done miracles in the past, I challenge you now. Go to any isolation centers. Any isolation. Go to the ICU or go to the mortuary now and wake the dead. Then we will believe that you are really true Christian. God damn it. Some people know I have mental health issue. Yeah, they bullied me. They do so many things. But here in Australia, mental health issue is for everybody. 99.9% .9 of everybody here, we have mental health issues. So please, what I'm saying now is real. And I am for real. Stop being brainwashed. Follow instruction. Read your Bible. Read your Quran. Read whatever you have to read. Even go back to your traditionalists. But those who pretend behind the scenes to do a miracle, to heal you, to rip you off, stop paying tight. There is no place in the Bible that you have to pay tight in the New Testament. I have said this before. Go through all my sermons. You will see that. Go read the Bible in the New Testament. You are not allowed. You just need to give generously. And you, nobody have to decide. But a lot of pastors, they monitor your income. They say everything. They use your money. And at the moment, let me tell you, some people are sympathetic that, oh, our church is on loan. God damn it. For example, in Australia now, the government says, no, they gave all the churches, people that are in debt and things, even houses. No landlord should evict anybody. No bank should add any interest. No bank should even ask for money till further notice. Look, I'm just dropping this now. I'm in my kitchen. I'm cooking some meal for myself. I just want to eat. Just want to be safe. And I know God is working. And I remain at Denier Kine. But please, read your Bible. Work with your brain. And never be brainwashed. Yeah, just for you to know that I'm in my kitchen home. Just about to cook some pounded yam, okra soup. Yeah, pounded yam. And yeah, you can see the chicken. Peace, love, and freedom to everyone. Please stay safe. COVID-19 is real. Coronavirus is real. Peace, love, and freedom to everyone. I remain ambassador Evangelist Adini Ekine. Peace out. Expect a miracle. Are you new?